I spent a week playing with every hitbox and going for clips. A year ago, I made a video where I played with every hitbox over the course of a week as a little challenge and test to see how they all perform. But this time around, we are solely focusing on getting clips with these cars. These six hitboxes are the Octane, Dominus, Breakout, Hybrid, Plank, and the Merc. At the start of each of the days, I would spin the wheel to see which hitbox I would use for that day, and at the end of the week, we will rank the cars by how good they are to freestyle with, in my opinion. The Dominus is a solid car to start with, as it's the car used mainly by casual freestylers. It is often praised as the freestyler's car because it's very easy to line up the underside when going for resets, and its long, flat body makes it perfect for musty flicks or just generating power in general. And I have to say, over the course of my time using the Dominus, I wholeheartedly agree. I'm not someone who really enjoys flatter cars, but once you get used to the length of the body for things like flip resets, it can make the car feel like it was built just for freestyling. The pure power you can generate from any kind of touch with this car comes through pretty heavily, and it's absolutely one of the best cars when it comes to pinches. I also felt with the Dominus car specifically, seeing as its model fits the hitbox quite well, it was very easy to keep control of the ball during air dribbles. Now, one of the only downsides with flatter cars is that if you aren't used to them, you can find yourself driving underneath the ball when you think you're going to get a touch. But that's a very easy fix once you have enough time played with the car. Overall, I found this car was pretty spot on when it came to looking for a freestyler's car. And while I do main the Octane hitbox, this could be a very strong contender if I ever wanted to really learn some advanced mechanics. Getting to go from the Dominus straight into the Octane was nice as it meant that I could directly compare the two. Now obviously I'm going to be more comfortable in this car and because of that it's not that the clips are better, it's just that I felt more natural going for the clips and I felt I could transition from normal play into the air or into going for a shot. You can see by the clips that I went for a lot of resets and that's just because it was a pretty natural feeling. But as a car I feel like the Octane hitbox is a really solid middle ground for the freestyling slash competitive mix. I think you can still utilize the length of the car for musties and breezies even though it isn't quite as long, but to me it's like the car feels easy to control in the air, and that's probably because it just looks smaller. It also feels faster to turn with, which is probably the reason it led to more double taps. So with the Octane, I think it's really just a solid car when going for clips. Especially the Fennec, as the Fennec model actually better fits the hitbox than the Octane. But you also have to remember that the car is fully down to how you feel, so even though it definitely isn't a lighter car, it felt lighter and so I felt a bit faster in it. I know it sounds insane, and realistically it just is. For those of you who saw the last time I did this kind of video, you'll know just how much I love using the Hybrid, and more specifically, the Venom. This thing is a musty machine, and it lives up to its name of being a Hybrid. The Venom specifically has a nice flat underside to make it easy to see and line up when going for resets. It's semi-flat, which makes the musty flicks insane, and it still has that nice and light feeling to it, which makes me feel like I'm getting around a bit faster. This car felt good. It had that nice feeling of being able to naturally transition from normal play to going for a clip. It didn't feel too clunky or overly long in the air, and it felt sharp when turning. It generates a ton of power, and on two occasions, actually a little too much power. I also almost ended up hitting a triple with it, which would have been nice for the video, but mainly just stuck to musties and a few resets. Overall, I knew what I was getting into with this. I am very happy with this car. I knew I was going to be, and I am. Shock. Here he is. If you got to this point in the video, you saw me roll the Merc, and you thought, oh, this is going to be awful. Let me tell you, you are so right. Trying to hit any sort of clip in this car is genuinely like trying to explain to a gold player that they shouldn't learn resets. It's just, it's, it's not possible. I went for so many shots, and the only ones you are seeing are the only things that actually would be worth showing. And considering two of them are fakes, you know just how bad this was for me. In the end, I did manage to hit some resets here and there, but it's the case of going for one shot and getting it 1 in 20 times, instead of hitting it like 1 in every 5 times or something. I just don't think this car is for me. The brick that is the Merc is great for being a wall, but in the air it felt way too bulky to work with, Anytime I got a reset or a musty, I was just genuinely shocked that it managed to work. I don't have too much to say about this car. If you wanted to get into freestyling or learning mech, 
stay away from the Merc. So in my head, the Breakout is like the little brother of the Dominus. It's basically the same car, just a little flatter and it feels a little bit lighter. That being said, I think I hit the biggest variety of clips with this car. You gotta imagine, this is like the step between the Hybrid and the Dominus. If the, the Hybrid is the step between the Octane and the Dominus, this is like the step between the, the Hybrid and the Dominus. It's pretty good, it feels nice and light in the air, but with it being so flat, I still find myself driving under the ball sometimes. But still, you can get some crazy power thanks to the length of the car, which led to me scoring one of my new favorite shots, the Slingshot. I started learning this recently, and the Breakout was actually a banger car to start doing this in. Overall, this is a fun car to use. I actually enjoy using it. I didn't, I didn't think I would, but last time I did, and this time I do. And like I said, I did get a bunch of different clips, but I don't think I enjoyed using it as much as I did other cars. And so I can't imagine I would use it again over other cars in the future. The last hitbox is Plank. Now, going into this, I had the feeling that I would hate this car, and believe it or not, I was right. The plank is just too big and bulky for me to feel comfortable in. I would say that the only thing I could really use it for was going for pinches, and even then, I think I'd probably have a better time with the Dominus or the Breakout. I've never really enjoyed the plank hitbox all that much, and this only really solidified it. I'm sure you can tell by the quality of the clips in the background just how difficult it was for me to get some nice shots going with this thing, and even switching between the Batmobile and the Mantis didn't even bring me the slightest bit of placebo to help me hit something. Overall, once again, not too much to say about this car, we'll not be using it ever again. So, now that you've seen them all and you've seen the clips that go with them, here are the rankings on how I feel about them as a freestylist car. In 6th place, we have the Merc because it doesn't feel like it's meant to even be in the air in the first place. In fifth, the plank. Too big, too bulky, felt like the car was actively against spinning or doing anything I wanted it to do. In fourth place, the breakout. Actually a good car, just think it's a little bit too flat for me, but I did actually enjoy using it. In third, the octane. Bit of a surprising one for me. I really didn't think this would rank this low, but while I do really like the Octane and I am used to it, I found that I enjoyed going for clips a bit more with the last two cars. In second, the Hybrid. Like I have always said, this hitbox is insane across the board and I genuinely recommend the Hybrid to anyone who wants to take their first steps into mech. And in first place, the freestyler's car of choice, the Dominus. This one was pretty close between this and the Hybrid, but I think the Dominus does just feel like the car you want to be in when you're going for shots. Everything flows quite nicely, and you get some real satisfaction getting a clean shot with this car. If the Merc was built for the ground, this feels like it was built for the sky. But that will wrap things up for me. Thank you so much for watching. I am curious to those of you who do use more than just the Fennec or the Octane, and especially to you freestylers out there, what is your hitbox of choice? What are you using? Is anyone actually using the Venom? And if not, start. Just start using the Venom, please. I promise you'll love it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.